think every once in a while I like to do something a little bit different, a little bit, maybe a different style of things. And a uh, part of me is very serious, despite most of my YouTube videos where I'm I like to joke around because I like to have a fun time, and I like to, for me, just being less serious about the game, having fun with it, and showing it to an audience. For me, it makes it more fun. For I feel like it makes it more fun for everyone else, and I know it makes it more fun for me. But there's times where I like to sit down and be serious, kind of speak about what's on my mind. And you know, I was debating if I should do this or not. I was thinking maybe this will bore people to death. Maybe people don't want to hear it. Maybe they want me to focus more on the gameplay. But honestly, I wanted to do it for me and maybe just even one person out there who cares to listen and listens well to this. So I kind of might make this commentary about just some thoughts that I have going on right now. And mainly it's about being happy and that sounds really simple, right, or a little generic, but hear me out on this. I, I think as Americans, well, maybe not even Americans, but from what I noticed, maybe in the whole world, you can't flip on the news without seeing something about someone dying or just terror going on. People are scared, just everything. It's terrible. It really is. And I think as people, we tend to glorify the bad a lot more. We tend to glorify bad and violence. We always hear about fights and we're really pumped for that or we hear about wars and that really gets us in the the spirit to you know stand up for our country and it's kind of sad you know that we do glorify that we don't really take too much time to understand the good that's in this world or we just don't care to see it which again is very very sad and i heard one time maybe it was on the news maybe it was a post secret or something i don't know what it was but i heard about a guy who was going to jump off a bridge he didn't have he didn't feel like he had anything to live for and as he was walking towards the bridge he left a note saying if anyone smiles at me until i walk to this bridge from my house to this bridge i will not jump off and he killed himself just like that he just killed himself which means nobody smiled at him apparently and that really had me thinking whether it was true story or whether it it, you know it could have been fake it could have been true but regardless of that I, I really took that into account thinking hey I want to know how people think of I, how do I put this the best I really want to leave a good impression on other people not so much for myself but I really like making other people feel awesome or feel really happy to be themselves that's just who I am so I'm not saying I'm the best person in the world because Hell, you know, we all have our mistakes. We all mess up. We all screw up. Sometimes people closest to me, I end up hurting the most. But I, I think I'd, you guys, you know, think everyone would be a liar if we said we haven't done that at least once. So that's kind of something. But anyway, at my job and just in life in general, I tend to just smile a lot. I really like to be cheery and happy. And no matter what mood I'm in, if I'm in a really sad mood, I try not to mope on it. Because I do find that moping on it just, it doesn't help. It doesn't the situation doesn't get any better with you constantly griefing over it so for me smiling and just talking to other people saying hey what's up i don't really there's there's not so many people close to me around here that i really hang out with i mean i i, I do have some closer friends but for the most part i'm i'm solo that's what i consider myself i consider myself really to myself and i do like hanging out with buddies and doing things like that but again, for the most part, I, I do like just kind of being by myself. So that's just how I am. That's how I've always been. And, you know, I, I tend to enjoy the little things. That's why I try my best. Like when I'm jogging outside, I try to enjoy nature or just little things like that. I'm not a very wealthy person. You know, we're, we're just kind of scraping by where I live right now. But, you know, as much as I want to stress out about that, I try my best not to because... You know, maybe not a month ago, I didn't have a home, really. I was sleeping in a car, so this is a pretty big difference for me, you know, living in a home and having, uh, you know, being able to share my videos with you guys and the whole community. And, you know, I don't mean to get all sappy on you or anything like that. It's just kind of honest. And I think it's so important to, no matter what you've done or who you are or what you're planning on doing, right now, right in this particular moment that you're watching this video or you're listening to what I'm saying, I think it's so important to be happy with who you're with and where you're at right now because, you know, I'm not trying to say that we don't appreciate everything we have, but I think we definitely take advantage of a lot of things that, you know, we just take advantage of a lot of things. There's little simple pleasures that we don't really, you know, we don't really account for a lot, and it, it's kind of sad. And to avoid sound like a hypocrite, I, I'm the same way, just little, little, little things. Like when my town was hit by a tornado, probably... Oh, let me think. 
maybe uh, maybe it was a month ago or something like that. We were without power for five days, and we were without electricity and water. And I thought, wow, like this is horrible. I act like it was the worst thing ever, right? It was, it was really bad, and the whole town was freaking out. It was, it was like a zombie apocalypse here. But I, I started thinking, and when I really found out that in this town that not too far away, that people died, lost their homes, things like that, I thought, wow, that's really selfish of me to be complaining that that I don't have power and I don't have water. I couldn't get on the internet. I felt really. But really ashamed to be downright honest with you because some of my friends were in this other city that got hit bad. I didn't know if they were alive or dead, and you know here I was complaining that I didn't have internet and things like that. So it's kind of something to think about. It's kind of a little eye opener for me, and that's that's you know, that's always a good thing. It sometimes it takes experiences like that. It takes a lot of major circumstances to make you realize, wow, I really do have it good no matter where I'm at or, or who I'm with and whatnot. So that's just another thing. I always. I just try to try my best to to smile, even even if I fake it. Just it, it helps. It helps so much to know that I can try to help other people. You know, I find like I said, I find appreciation in little things like animals, nature, or riding, or just things like that. Just who I'm with, where I'm at. Those those little things like that make life great for me because tomorrow is not promised. It it really isn't. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So I find that so important. Just so so important i can't stress that enough to try try your best to be happy you're you're a human being so you're going to get sad sometimes you're going to get pissed off you you know you're going to have these flood of emotions you can't really help it you you have to roll with them but like i said you have to roll with them but you can't dwell on them you just you can't that's that's just how it goes that's how life is you got you got to roll with what you know and that's it. Coping the way the way you survive, the way you cope with this, that that is exactly what makes you you. I mean, that's honestly what it does. The way you cope with stuff, the outcome of it, that's who you're going to be. You can everybody has a choice. Everyone really does whether you come out of it sad and you keep moping on it for the rest of your life or you come out of it and you learn something from it and you say, "Hey, you know, I screwed up." Next time, this is going to be better. I'm going to learn from it. And life goes on. You roll with it, and you appreciate what you have. So I guess that's just a, a little bit what I want to talk about. I don't know. I, I like being serious sometimes. Uh, like I said, I was kind of debating if I was going to post this or not. Uh, you, you know, it's not the most entertaining thing in the world, but you know, it's it's me. It's who I am. I like being serious sometimes. There's there's a lot on my mind a lot of times, and I, used to, I tend to um, kind of, you know, write – do stuff like that, like writing stories and as lame as that may sound to some people, that's just what I like doing. That kind of helps, and you know, then I turn my aggression into uh, exercise, which always helps, and you know, things like that. So, really, just the the darkest hour only lasts 60 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever heard that quote or not. I'm not really sure who said it, but yeah, the darkest hour only lasts 60 minutes. So, meaning that bad situations suck, but they do they do they do end, you know. You can think think of a really bad situation in your life that's happened recently and it's over now and have you learned from it? Is it still hurting? You know, it just it's just little things like that. You know that it, it'll it'll be okay in the end, you know, basically what I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that's uh the match is winding down. I don't know if you noticed, but it's been really close. This is a pretty intense match right here. I've been uh, you know, in second place, first place, I've been hopping back and forth and wow, it was intense. I was breaking a sweat there. But again, I hope you like this serious type commentary about just you know being happy with uh, who you're with and where you're at and things like that. So maybe maybe you didn't learn anything from this. Maybe you didn't even care. Maybe maybe you already shut off the video, which is totally fine. I don't you know I'm not I don't blame you if you do. I'm not gonna complain or anything. But maybe to maybe one person out there who's going through a hard time right now or who just isn't getting it, just feels like constantly going through this these repetitions of life. This is an awesome kill, by the way. Oh yeah, but to the person who just feels just like they're floating through life, just kind of realize that um, you're not the only one that feels like that sometimes, and uh, you know you'll figure it out. It, it, it takes time, it takes experience, but find what you love, no matter no matter what, no matter what anyone says, whether it be making videos on YouTube, whether it be watching them, whether it be playing video games, take what you love and uh, just. Just do it. <laughs> just pursue it. It doesn't matter if someone calls you a nerd for playing video games or pathetic for making videos or just anything. I mean, it, what's this quote? It's such a good quote. I can't think of it. 
it's something like uh, time you enjoyed is not time wasted. So if you enjoy it, go for it. Don't let anyone tell you you're wrong. So yeah, again, guys, that's my motivation thing. This match is over. So hopefully, if you ever feel bad or something, come back to this video. Maybe it'll help out a little bit, <laughs> kind of give you my thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching, and yeah, I appreciate it.